Welcome to a perfectly normal episode of AWS Unorganized. I'm your host, Gary Dane. We're in Pontiac, Michigan. This is a very special match because we got a battle between two very normy cartoon characters. First here is Norm, the old Norm. He's from the epic, amazing masterpiece of a show called, uh, Your New Norm. And it's about a guy named Norm. But, uh, he wanted to challenge Doug Funny into the most normal, old-school match we could find. So he t we time-traveled to WrestleMania 3, convinced the pal, convinced Trump to let us do an extra match here. And, uh, yeah, here we are. The true main event. Hogan and Andre had to l get lowered down the card for this big event. Oh god, why the fuck is Norm naked? Oh no. That, that is not normal. And here comes Doug Funny with Jimmy Hart. And it seems that Doug Funny... Oh, oh. Hey, Doug Dum Dum, why is he like this? Well, you see here, son, uh... Patty Mayonnaise recently cheated on him with Skeeter Valentine, and he didn't take it very well. And well, you know how Doug Funny likes to get into those, like, weird little, like, dream sequences, right? Oh, yeah, where he's, like, Quail Man and stuff. Yeah, well, uh, he recently got into one where he was Elvis, but due to his broken psyche, now he keeps dressing like Elvis and he thinks he's Elvis. It's really bizarre, just like that camera shot of Norm. See, yeah, he, he even ate like 500 peanut butter banana with bacon sandwiches and uh, it definitely had an effect on Doug Funny there, so hopefully he'll be okay here against Norm. Yeah, I agree, like, a man who thinks he's Elvis versus a man who thinks he's normal. But, you know, they are both from pretty normal cartoons. Though, in my honest opinion, I think Doug is a better show than uh, The New Norm. Since that one doesn't, like... Like, I'm not even, like, a super left-leaning individual. Like, I consider myself, like, pretty middle-y. Maybe, like, lower right on the compass, but by, like, a little bit. But just watching that show, I was like, man... I could really go for some gay beer right now. That's what that's what the show it just It does have one funny joke though. I won't spoil it, but see if you can find the one funny joke in the episode. That was actually pretty good. On that though, yeah, it's like an online friend of mine described it as you know, I'm I'm gonna pull up what this uh the this acquaintance said here. Alright. Let me just pull this up right here. The exact quote, big move by uh, Douglas Humorous Man here. Norm is just a boomer Facebook memes trying to kiss Elon Musk's ass. Which I think is a very accurate statement, it's like... Then they had, the, yeah, not only did they like tag Elon, but they won't shut up about how they're on X, even in their ad. They like drew Elon being like really skinny and have like a crowd cheer him as he's like charismatically pointing. Even gets to finish off the sign, and one of the main words of the tweet was, Anders animated Elon Musk. It's like, Norm really is thirsty for some Elon. Not as thirsty as he is for his, uh, best friend who has the best line of the show, but, like, you know, Norm, he needs, he, he knows how to get some uh, meat sticks, that is for certain. Well, at least he, he got one, but he's trying to get Elon, so, you no know, be a real pro gamer. I will respect Elon if his response to the cartoons just something like, this is the worst shit I've ever seen in my life. As Jimmy Hart yells at uh, Norm here, now, for those wondering, why is Jimmy Hart out here with Doug Funny and not the Undisputed Era? You see, the Undisputed Era actually hired Jimmy Hart because he converted to Dougism. He's not, he would prefer to now be known as Jimothy Douglas Hart, or Jimmy Doug Hart for short. So, welcome to the Undisputed Era, Jimmy. Uh, a very odd inclusion in the group, but hey, you add to the '80s theme, so that's good. For this match here, under normal rules, because that was another thing Norm stressed about. He wanted a normal rules, one of the most normal arena possible, so 
Good luck ever getting him on Chaos. Or unorganized for that matter. It's like all normalness right here. And then Norm, uh, he, he didn't really have anybody to bring out in the ring because uh, his best friend is too busy banging his wife and then all the other characters are getting into like epic liberal moments and stuff like that. So <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about. We're jumping me by Norm though. This man really looking like a like an Irish grandpa right now. He just forgot to get dressed that morning. I mean, I guess it, he does have the classic wrestler's build, at least, like, even though he is, like, a really short dude, he is, like, really stocky and, like, fat, so, like, he could probably do a pretty mean, like, running spot. Dogfight with the... <laughs> An interesting version of the, uh, kingpin double punch move from Spider-Verse, uh, just, like, complete, like, 180 spin with the... Very unique offense by the recent Elvis Presters. He does the Darren Young Camel Clutch. Quickly gets out though. What does the new norm have in common? Or not in common. I guess they both. I mean, they do have the normal show in common, but. Oh, Doug Funny! What the taste of mayonnaise right there. Is old finisher now a signature? Is we're gonna see a brand new finisher for Mr. Funny? No. Oh, he attempted the shake rattle roll. But the new norm has him. A perfectly normal fishing trip. But the rope break. That was probably going to be it if he didn't get Doug Funny in the ropes. But Norm, he, he wasn't paying attention. The normal rules kind of screwed him over. He might need to embrace the weirdness to get anywhere. Because, yeah, he was originally going to be a false count anywhere match. Oh, big old, like, running power slam, though. Braun Strowman style. Very classic. So, like, he's definitely got, like... It, a surprising amount of talent here in AWS, but I think is he might be overly committed to being normal. Like this man is so normal that he's willing to be a normal type Pokemon gym leader. And a normal he oh, he missed the headbutt though. He attempted to fall on him head first, and in hindsight, that was probably a very stupid idea. Oh, back elbow, a non-spinning Judas effect. Oh, the punches and the bunches. Doug Funny punching the shit of an old man to try to win his ex over. Oh, what a big shoulder tackle by the big Italian. At least I think Thorne's Italian, I'm not really sure. He's just a dude that wants normal beer. And apparently he, like, harassed a school for teaching, like, gender studies. Like, what's wrong with learning about Gender Mahal? Okay, he's the modern day Maharaja. We might even see him in AWS soon. He was originally going to be in the 2K14 like, season as like Neo 3MB, but we never got around to the idea, and honestly, in hindsight, it probably wouldn't have worked out, so... No, what worked out worked out, so... Maybe, we'll see, but for now, let's focus on Douglas Funny and Norman Normuth. Or his full name is... Norm the Old Norm. Usually, Old Norm is one word, but, uh... We spaced it out because of copyright. Here's the new Norm with the long list. Cause Norm, for some reason, doing an impression of Doug Funny. Is he? Did he adopt the Damien Sandow stunt double gimmick? I, I guess that was him charging into a big old clothesline, mocking his opponent and then smacking him with his arm. I, I gotta respect the disrespect. Uh, Norm, he's actually kind of impressing me, which is weird to say. Oh, he's got a finisher here. This is probably gonna be it. The perfectly normal suplex. Oh, Doug Funny gets out of it. Elbows him in the back and throws him back into the corner here. He's tickling his knees, gets him up. What's Doug Funny got in mind here? Oh, oh, a springboard version of the, like he usually does like a jumping spin kick as like his move, but it seems like he's adopted like a top rope version. And that's the end of the match right here. Dog funny. Another big win. He has been undefeated since his return, I think. Unless he maybe lost like a tag title tournament. I don't think he has though. I think Doug Funny might actually be undefeated right now. And now he's Elvis for some reason. But hey, you know, you beat up a Philip, you beat up a normal guy. What can't you do? He's even swinging the hips right here. Well, I Rob Walker says that was a great match. I definitely had some good chuckles, uh, 
be sure to watch the greatest animated series of all time, uh, The New Norm, okay? Like, I remember watching it on a plane, and it was so epic that it just destroyed the plane's left wing. And, like, I gotta say, I, I, I was the only survivor of that. In fact, to this day, the only reason why I keep Gary Daining is because it's the only way I'm able to cope with that horrific explosion where I was the only survivor.